was my last guide, but <laughs> I found this crazy fast method to gear up for New Game Plus with the least effort possible. <laughs> if, if you don't want to do this, then you're pretty much never going to uh, have an optimal New Game Plus run. Now, this works for pretty much anything. If you just want to play casually and you want to reduce the grind, uh, you know, the, the enhancement system in this game is, uh, it leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, one of the main issues is when you're playing the game, at least the first playthrough, uh, before you have the asteroid that doubles how many materials you get when you dismantle something, it feels like there's never really an optimal time to upgrade something because you're always going to get something better. Uh, you know, the only time you really want to invest in something is if it has really good random skills, which obviously is random. You don't know <laughs> when or if that will happen or if you'll get anything with that, you know, identical combination ever again. Now, what you'll have to do, you see uh, how many odorless fluids and stuff and void scraps I have here. I did not farm for these at all. What I actually did is I used the free adventure packs that are, uh, it's free DLC. It's on both versions of the game. On Steam, uh, it will be a little annoying because the game will automatically boot up every single time that you click on one. So if you haven't downloaded any of these uh, and you've had the game since launch, then you'll have to do this five times. So I've already used them on this file, but I'll go ahead and I'll show exactly what you do. So you just accept it. It doesn't matter if anything is going to be discarded because you're going to be doing this several times to just max out your count. So at this point, what you do is you save. And go back to the title. This is the, the most obvious exploit that I have not seen anybody mention at all. Uh, one of the things you should also remember is that the shop items that you get, or shop bonus items that you get when you carry over your shop levels on New Game Plus, those will always be at plus zero. They'll always be at their base enhancement level, regardless of what they were before. I can go ahead and show you right now. Just as proof. I have this ring and this boots, this pair of boots at plus one. And when I do this trick, it's going to be back at plus zero. So do not uh, waste any resources upgrading them if you've already done everything on your first run and you want to start over. So what you do, you go to New Game Plus, and then you load whatever file you just saved from. Now obviously I've played through the game twice, uh, most of it on moderate and above, so I have the whole grade shop pretty much maxed out. What you'll need to do is carry over consumable items, so if you're on a first playthrough, uh, this would be the only thing that you would really need to do this. So there's not much to see here, uh, everything's pretty much already maxed. At this point you start the game, skip all the cutscenes, so as soon as you gain control of Velvet, you go here, and just like most, uh, all like recent Tales game DLC, it all comes back. It's the same thing with uh, all the pay-to-win microtransaction stuff that you can get. Uh, every time you start a new game, you will get this stuff back. But what's weird about this game is you can start a new game plus on a clear file, even if you haven't finished the game. So you can use this for a number of things. Uh, if you have enough grade, I actually did this with my uh, my tag combo run that you guys are still watching that I finished a couple days ago is I actually that was actually my third playthrough I played through maybe about 30 percent of the game with double experience and then I had so much extra grade that I started over so you can use that to uh, you know make things easier for yourself as well as you can see right here we'll use the void scraps as an example so I have 20 of them right now now it's 40. <laughs> so what you do at this point... Now, I don't have my super speed code on it right, right now, so you guys can see exactly how long this takes. There's a save point right out here in the, the main area. So just skip everything. Save. You could probably even do this with a quick save, but uh, actually, no, you can't do it with a quick save because uh, quick saves don't count for New Game Plus, so you will have to go to that save point. 
So at this point, you load that save again. Same deal. And there you have it. <laughs> you got, you've got the hardest, like three of the hardest, you know, uh, currencies or items to get in the game. You've got them pretty much maxed out in a matter of minutes. So what you will want to do, you will want to do the rest of your New Game Plus prep, but if you're concerned with grinding out items, uh, you know, the materials and stuff for upgrading, you don't need to do that at all. All you have to do is just download the adventure packs and just keep resetting your New Game Plus file and you'll get it all maxed out. It probably will take like maybe 10 minutes of even that. So if I do play this again, uh, if I do play with the no art pause cheat engine code that Fruit Bomb made, this is probably what I'll do, is I'll max out all these currencies and then just make broken gear from the beginning. Uh, this is uh, the optimal way to do it. Uh, some of the materials like odorless fluids are pretty annoying to get because odorless fluids only drop from, or you can only get them from weapons or gear that have no random skills on them, which means you have to play on easy. So if you're playing on a harder difficulty, they're going to be very difficult to come by. But if you're playing on simple mode, then they, you know, there's lots of them. So you can use this method to just skip all the grinding, pretty much. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone else mention this. Uh, if someone else has mentioned it, I'm not aware, but I wanted to raise awareness for this because starting New Game Plus in this is, is pretty daunting, simply because uh, the most important thing you have to do is get all the master skills. But even when you do start New Game Plus, uh, it will be difficult to upgrade anything, even with uh, the extra acerites and stuff that make it a little easier, simply because you're going to run out of you're going to run out of materials before you get to the point of the game where you can get more. But at least this way, you can start out maxed, and it, should be, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. You should be able to max out at least one character's weapons or gear before uh, you know any other problems arise. Anyway, I just thought I'd put this out there. I know uh, a lot of people are probably discouraged by New Game Plus. I was too. I wish I had known about this, but to be fair, uh, the only real time that you could do this is today actually because uh, today they just put out what I assume is the final adventure pack since they've been doing this for they've been doing it every Tuesday for a month now since the game came out and that has a void scraps and a bunch of the tempering powders in it as well as odorless fluid so this is uh, the optimal way to do it <laughs> uh, I wish more people had uh, told us about this when it was in the Japanese version but apparently no one else knew so <laughs> I hope this helps some people catch you guys later